Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. Unless I'm adding this to... Uh, I might be adding this to the last part of the last episode because the my personal audio decided to cut out for some reason for the, the last hour. Where we went, and we poked talk, and we talked to Stroud, and then we kind of wandered around the Emerald Graves for a bit, I think, but... I've reloaded to the part where we kept dying, like, after we kept dying to the, to the deal, to the dragon. Um, so I guess we'll go grab this. Actually, okay, what I really want to do right now, actually, is I want to go plant harvesting. That's what I wanted to do, I remember now. I was like, I know I had a reason for doing this. Um, but I'm gonna go grab this little landmark here. Can where is it? Yeah, it's up there. You okay, game? Oh no! Go. Oh no! What's this? What's this? Stop! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh, I freaking I hate this game sometimes. All right, but I have I've been very exhausted lately. <laughs> So I haven't had a chance to really play this how I want to. Um, so I've been uploading Mass Effect 2. <laughs> Lots of Mass Effect 2, which is fun. I actually last weekend spent the entire Friday playing Mass Effect 2. So that's why I have so many. Um, <clears throat> but, okay, let's go to... Oh, we also need to talk... To people, uh, and I did want to do that before going to Crestwood because I think last time I realized that we hadn't talked to Varric in ages. So, and especially since that's not very good for a stream, like to do that sort of a thing, we're gonna do that and plant hunting. But first, I want to go plant hunting. <laughs> I also need to look up, um, I did once look up where to get the rest of the grenades and stuff, but I need to do that again. Ah, okay, but first, I'm gonna have to go get my little pen and pad over there. Well, I, well, okay, let's talk, <laughs> let's chat. I like Varric. <laughs> That got a little heated. This is back right. from the well, argument he had with better. Cassandra. How angry is Cassandra? I wasn't trying to keep secrets. I told the Inquisition everything that seemed important at the time. Tell it's so gorgeous. Um. Yeah, no, I want to get everybody's dialogue that I maybe haven't gotten um, now before I poke Hawk. Because that's a main mission and that will also add new dialogue stuff. Uh. I know, Varric. You never would have kept quiet otherwise. <laughs> I keep hoping none of this is real. Maybe it's all some bullshit from the Fade and it'll just disappear. I know I need to do better. I'm sorry. This is so interesting, especially after playing Dragon Age 2. Like, he's a changed man in a lot of ways. Corivius is back. Oh. See? See how far back we are? <laughs> you said he was a darkspawn or a magister. What is he really? I'm not sure. I don't think Corypheus really knows either. He's definitely a darkspawn, but when we found him, it was pretty obvious he hadn't heard that. He thinks he's a magister, a priest of Dumat, in fact. He says he broke into the Golden City, like in the Chantry tale. Mm-hmm. I always think it's interesting how he says Chantry Tale. <laughs> That's how it's it's interesting how many people believe the Chantry, but only because it's all they know, you know, or that they believe that maybe the Chantry's telling them telling them one, you know, telling them a story, but that there's something in there that's actually true. We'll talk to this warden friend of Hawks and draft a plan to kill and this And draft a plan! We didn't just think Corypheus was dead. He was dead. No pulse, no breath, full of stab wounds, 
There wasn't a lot of room for doubt. It makes me wonder. I thought the I don't know if those are like screen tears or if those are embers from his little fire that are flying up. Killed. How did you and Hawk even wind up in a Grey Warden prison for ancient darkspawn? <laughs> Corypheus sent people after Hawk. He actually got control of an entire Carter clan. Made them drink darkspawn blood. Weird. They should have uh, technically. We tracked the become... car to an old dwarven fort or something in the mountains. Of course, the, it turned the, out to be a trap. Wardens. They needed Hawk's blood to yeah, open the rocks holding Corypheus, and they drew us into the prison. Oh no, they can't! Just drinking darkspawn blood. I keep forgetting that just drinking darkspawn blood won't um, turn you into a warden, because there's actually a ritual that goes with it. Like they actually have to have mages do something to the blood. You know. Like, Duncan specifically says that it's good that there are mages around because they need people to help with the ritual. Nothing is unkillable. I'm not so sure about that. Uh, the things in the fade which really I, I said die. that, and then I was like, oh, they that's a good point, Varric. I let loose. You had nothing to do with this, Varric. I was the one who led Hawk to Corypheus. But Hawk told you if to because the Carter, the Carter was know. trying to kill her. Him but you've got in this more case. Things to do than listen to me worry. Just let me know when you want something shot. I need to bring Varric out more. I always say that, and then I don't. You know, it's just I don't know. Uh, I'm uh, I'm gonna try that. Put that stuff aside. Take a break. Best advice I've ever heard. <laughs> I've been meaning to come talk to you anyhow. I never officially joined the Inquisition. I don't know how to do that. That was actually really the weirdly phrased. Thing. I'm a businessman. Never really followed the chosen one before. Like, put that stuff aside. Take a break. Like, that was really weird. <laughs> oh, well. Um... I don't need a disciple. I need a friend. If you knew how intimidating you are, you wouldn't make it sound so simple. You just don't know what you are to the people out there. The Herald of Andraste is a symbol bigger than any of us. I think I asked that, because I don't think I've ever asked that one before. Uh... So what exactly am I to the people out there? Which the kind of sounds like something somebody would say, everywhere. like, what am I? The like, Talon's like, I don't understand, this is way the bigger than my clan, you. you know? You're the sign that somebody might hear their prayers. That maybe they're not abandoned after all. You heard the crowd singing after Haven was attacked? Whatever I am to Thedas, I'm still just an ordinary person. So, just a regular person, like anybody else. Like Hawk, Varric. I should probably get back to work. Unless, uh, you up for a game of Wicked Grace? Heck yeah. Always. It'd be cool to learn the actual rules to Wicked Grace. <laughs> kind of like the Witcher 3 card minigame. Looking for someone to talk your ear off? I think I can oblige. Uh... Let's try. What can you tell me about this career? I'm not exactly an expert, but ask away and I'll answer what I can. All right, I'm just going to kind of speed through this. How did you first encounter... Well, a few years back, I was... They were sending assassins after the... It turned out to be a trap. Once... Yeah. The whole thing was a prison. The Grey Wardens yeah. were using to hold what they thought was a powerful darkspawn. I've never heard of wardens locking up. I don't think they... From what we saw in there, career... The wardens locked him up because there was nothing else they could do. He looks like some sort of blighted the wardens who imprisoned Some him, blighted creatures can speak. Some darkspawn can speak. He claims it seems crazy, but if he's telling the truth, like the architect. Uh, uh, da, da, da. Is there a similarity? Before, but no, emissaries can speak too, I think. He was dead. The only way for us to escape the we weren't going to just leave the door to his prison open behind us and hope he was dead. We made sure. All right, I think that's enough about Criffius. No problem. All right, uh, we'll go through and poke everyone. 
Solis! Good afternoon. Good afternoon. No. I'd like to hear more about what you saw in your exploration of the Fade. I would be happy to share it with you. Tell me about the old ruins you explored. I found the ruin of Baron Dur, a lost Devinta city buried deep beneath a dead and barren wasteland. Volcanic ash had sealed it tight. In one dark moment, every living creature in the city seared and smothered. They were statues in the ashes, like a mold made to recall the lost. Tell me about a spirit you encountered. The Alamari crossed the Frostback Mountains to escape a beast they called the Shadow Goddess in their story. I met the spirit that they fled. She walked the fade along the southern tundra, weeping lonely and forgotten. Great Ferelden formed because a lonely spirit drove her prey away. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Like, that's Tell me amazing. About the old memories you found in the fade. I saw a savage human horde go marching toward the battlefield. They sang a soldier's hymn to keep formation. Primal music shook the ground. These savage, unwashed warriors carried harmonies no chantry choirs mastered. Though their cause was all but hopeless, they sang songs that made the spirits weep. We'll talk later. Goodbye. All right. Good afternoon. Dang it! <laughs> all right. We'll talk later. The other day, Goodbye. he was saying lethaline, and I was like. <laughs> Because that's a, it's a, uh, I thought it was lethalon for men and lethalene for females, but apparently I was looking online, it's actually not super gender specific, it's actually more age specific, so he's addressing you as younger than him. Or, no, is it equal in age? No, yeah, because Dalen is younger, lethalene is an equal or friend, you know? You seem very interested in my opinion. Dorian, we don't talk enough! I need to talk to you about how much you adore me, I assume. I hear that so often. Uh, Let's do something interesting. More interesting than wandering the countryside killing random strangers. Perish them. Perish them. Yeah, we'll wander the ground ah. and I'll bore you with ribald tales of Tevinter intrigue. He says, come, we'll wander the grounds. I'm like, oh my goodness gracious, Dorian. You know a way to a man's heart. <laughs> Is that? I think that's an elf. Huh. Do I have anything to drop off? Did I talk to you? Greetings to you, Inquisitor. I didn't talk to you. I am to serve as assistant. You'll find my skills are exceptional. You're taking over... Yes. Yes. What is she doing? I wasn't told. How can you serve the Inquisition? I am... What makes you particularly qualified? I remember being fond of animals. I don't remember why. <sighs> Makes me sad. I absolutely adore her dress. I want one. I want one. I actually looked the other day into the, in the how to make a mod because I really want a nice dress for Halamshiral for my female Inquisitor, for Erica. And friggin' heck, the words and the acronyms, and, and I was like, Bleh. like I was like, no. No, <laughs> I can't do it. And, and and I did talk to her in like the hour that we were missing for some reason. And I'm watching like my commentary right now. And I swear last time it was still there. I have no idea why it went away. Um, but yeah, I for the first time noticed that she actually does have the tranquil mark on her forehead. Which I don't think I ever noticed before. And in Dragon Age 2, when they pointed out tranquil marks, I was very confused because I'd never seen them before. I don't think I don't think the guy in Origins has one. Um, but they have them in Dragon Age 2. But I had never noticed them before. So I don't know if some of them do or some of them don't. You were made tranquil. Yes, I am tranquil. It was necessary due to a willful nature that made wielding magic a dangerous thing. See, endeavor. I think she I was that being a difficult time, unfairly made why. tranquil. My skills are well used in my current position. She was a strong willed woman and they decided that because she could not be controlled, what she is your was made tranquil. Of how we're doing? Like adequate. She Based couldn't be controlled like how others wanted. Hold. You know? As you were. Yes, Inquisitor. Yay! Okay, making the rounds, making the rounds. Hey, Anna! 
At your service, my lord. Whoa! Anything I should know? I have agents stationed by the ruins of... Uh -huh. So far, nothing. And the breach has been quite... Take okay, bye. I'll leave you to your work. We kind of match. We're both wearing some kind of armor. Opa! Opa! Should we go? Yeah, let's go talk to Cullen really quick. Oh, oh, we are so far behind, Cullen. I apologize. As leader of the Inquisition, you... There's something I must tell you. You're being especially serious today. I know. <laughs> Lyrium grants Templars our abilities, but it controls us as well. Those cut off suffer. Some go mad, others die. We have secured a reliable source of Lyrium for the Templars here. But I no longer take it. You stopped? When I joined the Inquisition. It's been months now. Why are you doing this? After what happened in Kirkwall, I couldn't. I will not be bound to the Order or that life any longer. Whatever the suffering, I accept it. But I would not put the Inquisition at risk. I've asked Cassandra to watch me. If my ability to lead is compromised, I will be relieved from duty. Are you in pain? I can endure it. I can endure. Suladine. Thank you for telling me. I respect what you're doing. Thank you, Inquisitor. The Inquisition's army must always take priority. Should anything happen, I will defer to Cassandra's judgment. Hmm. Sorry, Cullen. You've been hanging on to that for a while. <laughs> uh, I do think it's interesting that the, the Chantry never looked for a way to cure or like modify lyrium so that it's not so addictive but it's true in some ways it's kept that way so they can control them was there something you needed are you with anyone oh boy i'd like to know more about the templars what would you like to know one sec that's all i wanted to know thank you another time then i've always no i don't know I've wondered for a long time if there's always a Hala statue there. Um, because the first time I noticed it, I think I was romancing him. And so I was like, oh, look, it's a Hala statue. Woo. But it looks like there's always a Hala statue there. Interesting. I wonder if it's just because you're an elf or what. But, I mean, this is an elven ruin, so. Inquisitor? Is there anything I should know? I'm glad to have the charges on our side. Bull's men are professionals, despite evidence. To I the like Cullen a lot. Should we just ask the? Oh, hold on, hold on. I actually want to ask it now. and see what's up. Should you require anything, I'll be here. Partly because it's annoying to have just floating around. Was there something you needed? Did you leave anyone behind in Kirkwall? No. I fear I made few friends there, and my family's in Ferelden. No one special caught your interest. I can't say I was looking. <laughs> Honestly, I, I was not good company back then. Oh. What? I take it you're not looking now. Between the needs of the Inquisition and... Well, I can't say that I am. Huh! Okay, interesting. That is very... I'm glad that they kind of like... Because that didn't really seem like a romance thing. It's just like, you know, oh, hey, like, did you leave anybody behind in Kirkwall? Like, any friends or anything? And he's like, nah, you know, and... Uh, and you can, you can be like, you can either throw yourself at him, which I'm sure gives a polite rejection, or... Uh, or in this case, because I'm locked in with Dorian, you might say something about Dorian. But, uh, I like that there was, like, you know, kind of like a friend. Like, so, I guess, you know, 
I don't know, almost interested, like, hey, why don't you get out a little bit more, you know? Go meet a girl or whatever, you know? I liked that. That was nice. That's all for now. Should you require anything, I'll be here. I do feel kind of sad sometimes about Colin. Like, there's so many romances that seem to make a huge difference in every in, in, in the romancee's life, almost. Like, it changes them. Like, I think Sarah's is especially changes her. Colin's changes him. Especially if you're a mage and you romance him. Like, it just... It just adds another level to the character growth, to their arc, you know, with Dorian. Like, I think if you're his friend, like, I think that that um, helps him out tremendously. Um, almost, like, basically, it's like, it's like almost like as much as being his lover, sort of. And so, but with Solace, like, that one's just like, that changes so much in the story, at least to me, you know, and... But, like, Sarah, Solas, and Cullen um, are the only ones that I've ever heard about or experienced, really, myself. That would make a huge difference. And for Cullen, I just wish, like, I'd, I could, in every playthrough, I could, like, find somebody for him so he could be happy, you know? I don't know. And that's, I really, I haven't played it in a while, but I really like romancing him because it just, it seems to bring him around full circle. Like, as a leader of the Inquisition, he's changed and matured. And he's come to, he's enduring, but I would like to make him happy. I don't know, you know, I don't know. It's just, I want him to be happy, I don't know. Of all the characters, he's the one I want to be happy for some reason, like, I, I don't know. Whoa, I was trying to land on that thing, but this works too. Black wall! Haha! <laughs> this. This is just... it's something to keep their hands busy. I'm grateful you tracked me down when you did. As exciting as wandering the <laughs> woodlands was, this is better. It's good to be part of something so important. Something that could change things. I'm glad! I'm pleased that you feel that way. Makes me sound like a child, <laughs> doesn't it? Some giddy new initiate. But so be it. I suppose you've earned my loyalty <laughs> and girlish enthusiasm. <laughs> you are who you choose to follow. Someone told me that once. Took me years to understand what he meant. There's wisdom in that. It was a chevalier who said those words to me. A powerful man, but never without honor. A true knight. We met as competitors in the Grand Tourney. He left me with that advice before we parted. Put aside his own ambitions to help me win the melee. I don't think I even thanked him. How did he help you? There were a hundred men on the field, each one fighting for himself. The knight and I had forged an alliance. It was just the two of us, and we took all comers. The goal? Down as many opponents as possible. He always let me deliver the final blow. That was generous of him. He said I stood to gain everything, while he'd lose nothing. When it was over, he offered to mentor me, to teach me to become a chevalier like him. And I, young and stupid, turned him down flat. I just won the melee at the Grand Tourney. I didn't need him. But you couldn't win without him. I should have gone with him. Perhaps things could have been different. Different doesn't always mean better. Ah. <laughs> In this case, I think it would have been better. But I'm older, hopefully wiser. And I think I've chosen the right person to walk with. Thank you, Michael! <laughs> I'm here. Are you good? What do you think of the Inquisition? <clears throat> I just know that you could shake this world to its foundations if you willed it. Oh, uh, let's investigate. In the circle. We must have some feelings about our friends. Cole's dangerous. I'm pretty blah, blah, blah. I wouldn't turn my back blah, on blah, blah, blah. You must have some feelings about our friends. I fear for Cassandra's ah, The way she throws... We should return Black to Blackwell's hair looks especially dark. You are, after all, in charge. Uh, sorry, my friends. I've been... Neglectful of you. Is there something up here? 
to read or something? No. I like this spot. This is nice. I used to, uh, used to, uh, when I lived in the Midwest, my friend owned a huge farm. Like her family owned a huge farm. We used to play in a barn like this. All the time. Like once a month I'd go up there and stay for a long time. What's my inventory look like? Is it... Okay. <gasps> Weapons. Oh, let's check with a bull. Bull, what do you want? Uh, no. Uh, dang it. No. No. We'll keep that one. Yeah, because this is an AoE. Like, I learned, I actually just found out with my human character. Um, the mall is very different in battle than, like, an axe, a war, or a great axe, or a sword, great sword. So, hmm. We'll keep both of those. Oh, wait, that's, uh... I don't think I like it, but... And it's certainly not as good as anything I've made any, but... Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay, it's not too bad. It was a... Uh, Dorian. I'm sure Dorian's armor is better than this. Yeah. Oh my gosh, he actually looks really good in that. I actually really like that. Let's see what Solos looks like. Oh, yeah, he's, a, he's an elf. He can't wear it. Solas, you look freaking good. You're freaking, freaking, freaking. <laughs> Why does everybody look so good? All right. What's my? Wait. I want to get another Inquisition perk point. Hi, guy. Inquisitor, you have come to the attention of the powerful. And I am the response. I'm trying to click Reserve on you. Sir Faris at your service. You will find Kay. my... Hmm. Six significant. I got enough money. Western or lay. I know it doesn't really matter, I guess, but still. Let's do Coastal Antiva. Yay! Okay. Um, so we need to go talk to the people in the tavern. Oh wow, I didn't quite realize that every time I level up an Inquisition perk point that I get um, a, a Inquisitor. power point or a whatever, I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say? Well, let me know if you find one. Let's go chat with this guy. Inquisitor? What's the current mood? Obsequious. Obsequious! What's the word out there? <laughs> the admirals of the Felicissima Armada are disappointed. Ah! The position is primarily inland. <laughs> As you were. Inquisitor? Well, I just bought a coastal Antiba thingy, so. Welcome back. Your worship. Tell me about the charges. Can we talk about the bull's charges? Certainly. What can I tell you? Have you had any other interesting jobs? Ah, there was the time with the spiders. Big old beast had taken over some Navarran ladies' winter estate. With a full season to lay eggs. Hanging from the chandelier, scuttling over the tapestries, webbing a bath. <laughs> I don't really have a story about it. It's just a lot of spiders. I wouldn't do it. You couldn't pay me enough. We'll talk later. Couldn't pay me. Let's see. Your worship. Uh. Can you think of any other tasks suitable for the charges? Nothing jumps out at me. Okay. If I come up with any ideas, I'll let you know. Okay. I know that at least there's we'll one more if we, when we go to Adamant. Bull, we probably have some stuff to catch up on. Good to see you, boss. Yeah, drinks. You said we should go get some drinks and meet your company. Yeah, come on. It'll be fun. Yeah, come on. It'll be fun. Ah, good. We're not drinking alone. How Everybody you doing, just appeared Krem, all of a sudden. Krem? Your worship. I'm so glad he has someone new to hit with that. 
I can think of worse places to go with Chromisius. <laughs> Even the chief, believe me, he loves his nicknames. Hey, when I was growing up, my name was just this series of numbers. We all give each other nicknames under the cune. They ever wear shirts under the cune, chief? <laughs> or do they just run around binding their breasts? Like <laughs> it's a harness, Krem. <laughs> yes, for your pillowy man bosoms. <laughs> Let me know if you need help binding. You could really chisel something out of that overstuffed look. Uh, yeah, this, well, okay, because I actually had no idea that Kermisi, that Krem was, like, transgender, I guess? Is that what it is? Um, no. Well, I don't know. It's different, because Krem is a man, but he was born a woman, you know? And so, uh, he's not passing as a man, and he's, are you a woman? No, but... It, and some people get upset at these questions, but honestly, I think this is a good way to, like, ask these questions. Because if you ask these in real life, you might get in a whole big, like, it'd be this huge situation. But it's like, people who don't have a lot of exposure to this kind of, like, um, like I guess trans is the best thing I can think of, to this, like, trans lifestyle, like, they might be curious, but they don't really know how to ask the questions or... Because they don't know. Like, unless you are a transgender person, like, you don't really know what's up. Or unless you know one really well who confides in you a lot, you don't... It's not just this natural, like, oh, yeah, get it completely all of a sudden. It's like, well, you know, I think it's cool. It's fine. But I'm just curious. Like, what, what's up with this? You know? Like, how do... Like, I don't know. Like, tell please tell me how, how to approach this situation. You know, type thing? I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm not really making sense, but, um, I don't know. I just, I think this is a good way to, like, it's, like, a healthy way to be, like, you know, well, tell me about yourself. Like, this is interesting, you know? Uh, but th at the time, when I first played this, I had no idea that Krem was born a woman. And these questions really confused me. I had, I was, like, because this sentence, let me know if you need help binding... You can really chisel something. I'm like, freaking, I'm like, I don't, does that indicate he's a woman? Like, I, I, it didn't make any sense to me. And I don't know what and the rest of your crew does. Uh, I think I asked that when I was a, with my first Inquisitor, because I was like, are you? Like, because I had no idea until these questions popped up. I was like, wait a second, like, what is this even? I don't understand, you know? I was like, are you a woman? <laughs> Did you always know? Yes. It's not the most fortunate thing to know about yourself growing up in Tevinta, one rung above slavery. In Kunadar, Krem would be an Akunathlak. That's what we call someone born one gender, but living like another. And Kunari don't treat those Akun people any differently than a real man. They are real men. Just like you are. Maybe your people aren't so bad after all. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up, Krem. We still come down hard on the back talk. <laughs> anyway, here's the rest of the charges. Or what's left of the rest. A lot of them went looking for stronger drinks. We've got Rocky and Skinner there. And over there are Stitches, Dalish. Dalish! <laughs> and Grim. Crazy bunch of assholes. But they're mine. Indeed, Bull. Why aren't you with your clan? Our keeper thought I should see the world a little. Dalish don't have Templars, so they can't have too many mages in a clan at once. Now, sir, you know I'm not a mage. That'd make me an apostate. You carry a staff, Dalish. It's a bow. A bow with a giant glowing crystal <laughs> at the tip. <laughs> yes, it's for aiming. Old elven trick you wouldn't understand. <laughs> I think in the, there's like a comic or something that shows Dalish with an actual bow, like an archery bow, that she uses as a staff, but it's shaped like a bow. I was like, oh my gosh, that's cool! I take it you're the company healer? Yes. First time I ever picked up a sword was when the blight hit Ferelden. Never put it back down. He makes a potion that'll put you right back on your feet after even the toughest fight. It tastes terrible, though. That's because it's a poultice. So <laughs> you're not supposed to drink it. I love that because in Origins they used to be poultices, and then in, I think in Two and Inquisition they turned into potions. 
But then there's a little jab at the fact that, like, even in uh, Origins, I think, yeah, you drink the poultices. Like, you did, like, a drinking motion or something. I don't, I think that's what happened. I can't quite remember. But it's a funny. So, how do you join the charges? Killed some people. Skinner didn't take kindly to nobles testing their new swords on the elves in her alienage. Bull took me in. Now I get paid to kill shams. This is actually really good behavior for her. She's not marking her territory or anything. <laughs> so she's wearing a Dalish scout armor, but she's actually, I think she's a, she's not from a Dalish clan. Were you born on the surface, or are you from Orzammar? Orzammar. I got exiled. Stupid noble crap. Also, I accidentally blew up a bit of the shape rate. Rocky's one of our best sappers. He can take down enemy fortifications faster than a golem. I'm also working on my own version of Kunari Black Powder. I've almost got it. <laughs> yeah, you really don't. You really don't. Grim, is it? Hmm. <clears throat> Grim doesn't talk much. I'm pretty sure he's the lost king of some sort. <laughs> or chieftain. Something like that. I love how he's like looking at him. He's like, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> uh... You've got a good company, Bull. Ah, we do all right. No man can beat the Chargers, cause when it's you where it hurts. I wonder who they got to, like, come together and try to sing these, like, pi sing this song like a pirate or something. Thanks for coming by, boss. Glad you could meet some of my team. Interesting, you could play as like Iron Bull, like and get to know his pals, you know, blah blah blah. Hey, that elven redhead who makes the buns in the kitchen. Is she available? Because <coughs> I'm getting signals. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that elven redhead who makes the buns in the kitchen? <laughs> I'm getting signals. <laughs> I love the way he talks. I'd like to hear more about the charges. Always happy to talk about my guys. What do you want to know? Uh, yeah. I'd like to know more about Krem. He's a good soldier, and a better second in command. The troops need someone to complain to when I'm being a hard ass. He's good for that. Uh, we'll do that one. You don't have a problem with him being from Tevinter. Nah. But you hate the Vince. Sure, but he's not a Vint. He's just Krem. I can get worked up about a group or a nation just fine, but people, it's too much work to hate them one by one. Him being a her isn't an issue. Ah, well, we'll just do it. You don't have any problems with him being a woman? He's not a woman. Look, I've got horns, you've got pointy ears, <laughs> and those freaky big elf eyes. We're My eyes aren't that big. big. They're actually pretty eyes. narrow. It's normal. Krem's a good man. I don't give a nug's ass that it's a little harder for him to piss. Dude, you don't even up. know. You don't even know how hard it is. <laughs> you don't even know. <laughs> oh, when you're out in archaeology field work all day and there's no bathrooms around, like, friggin', you know, they, we don't carry porta potties. <laughs> how did you start the group? It's easy to make a name for yourself as a merc when you're a head taller than most folks. I spent a year or two working for Fisher's... The fact that his voice actor is Captain Vega Carter. from Mass Figured Effect 3 just better. kind of throw it like, wow. The best the bleeders agreed with me, so we split off. What about Fisher? I imagine Fisher disagreed. <laughs> he came at me. I snapped his sword in half, and we talked things out over drinks. Mm-hmm. Bull is just... Oh, he's so sly. What are the craziest jobs you've ever taken? Besides this one? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of violence between the nobles here, but that's st The fun stuff is when they party. We've hunted weavens, fought through caves to find some old magical crap. Even when giant baiting once. What's giant? Giant oh, baiting. Guy, Comte Van Chess, has some kind of a pageant. He's got some kind of rare charm to control. So we go. It attacks us because, of course, it does. <laughs> <laughs> we let the big bastard chase us outside where Van Chess is waiting. That was actually your plan? To let a giant chase you? Yeah. We had to stay out of reach, but close enough that it wouldn't give up. It was tricky. Good news is the giants are slow. Long as 
Yeah. Bad news is the giant. But at least Comte Van. Uh, turned out that charm was a phony. Giant ate the poor guy alive. <laughs> it's okay though. We still got paid. We still got paid. You have people from plenty of different backgrounds in your group. Yes, well, when you're in Orlay and you look like me, you can't be picky about who you take in. A lot of them got turned away from other companies that didn't want a knife here or a crazy dwarf. Their loss. You get my back in a fight and carry your own weight, you're good with me. He probably... Later, he doesn't just get your average guy. Plus, he's good at reading people, you know? So he knows who's good and who's... Nah, like who's gonna be good and, and all that, you know? 